In this video I'll show how to install Windows 11 on XFAT partition. Necessary tools. 1. Saturn VMA SSD 2. Windows PC, which has motherboard with CSM or legacy BIOS enabled 3. Windows 11 installation ISO file, or Windows 10 ISO, starting from version 2004. Tools I used, SATA SSD King Spec 120 GBP4, 120 Motherboard Asus Z270 Mark II Windows, 11 8 Bill 22000.318 ISO file. Step 1 Prepare the SSD. First, I need to create MBR partitions on the SSD. It is necessary to use BIOS plus MBR configuration because it takes a long time to boot another UEFI plus GPT configuration. The second partition was formatted as NTFS. I will use the physical SSD as VMware disk. Step 2 Install Windows. Now, I install Windows into NTFS partition of the SSD as usual. At the end of the installation I create a user profile. To reduce the next boot time from XFAT partition, I change the startup value to 0 and register a key HKE while local machine system control set 001 services XFAT. While Windows is still on NTFS, I need to install the following programs. Microsoft Visual C++ 2005 Redistributable Package. Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 Redistributable Package. They are required for some older games. These packages cannot be installed on XFAT because they give error 1935. I'm going to use Microsoft Office 2021. This program during its installation creates hard links, which are not supported by XFAT. Hence I need to install this program in this step, while Windows is still on NTFS. Now I will check the SSD speed on NTFS partition and save result. At this point the preliminary configuration of Windows is complete. I turn off VMware and reboot PC. Step 3 Copy Windows files to another disk. First, I need to mount partitions of the King Spec SSD. The reserved partition will have letter U and Windows partition will have letter W. In order to copy files I run cmd and type in. Step 4 Format Partition as XFAT. To format partition I use disk part. 
The free program active at partition manager can also be used. Step 5 Copy files back. To extract Windows files from WIM file to XFAT partition I run this command. Step 6 Fix the BCD file. I open the boot as V1, 3, 4, 0. First, I need to enable the display of protected files in Explorer. In the BCD tab I select Other BCD file and specify the path to the BCD file. The file is located here you, boot BCD. I press button easy mode. Here I choose boot disk, partition and other settings. At the end I press button save current system and close the window. At this point, Windows is located in the XFAT partition and can boot from it. Now I need to unmount partitions to avoid VMware errors and reboot PC. Windows 11 takes 40 seconds to boot from XFAT partition. This time varies with manufacturer and model of SSD. As you can see, on the XFAT partition Windows occupies more space. This additional 5 GB occupied by former hard links, which are now real files. Now it's time to complete Office installation. I need to copy all files from folder. To the folder, where Winward X is located. This destination folder is. Microsoft Office is working. Now, I will use Crystal Disk Mark to measure SSD speed on XFAT partition. The last step is to enable trim. The trim instruction is important for SATA SSDs because it extends their lifespan. For NVMe drives this command is called deallocate, and for SCSI drives this command is called unmap. The Windows operating system does not have built-in utilities that can send a trim command to an XFAT partition. Built-in utility FSUDL X only supports trim for NTFS and REFS partitions. Now I install third-party software on ODFRAG that can send a trim command to an XFAT partition. To enable trim, I go to the folder C, 
program files use software defrag, open CMD there and type in the command .gnegs trim, C, where C is the XFAT partition. This command can be run periodically, once a week by means of task scheduler. This completes the installation of Windows into the XFAT partition. Let's take a look at the speeds, measured earlier. While the reading speeds are almost same, the writing speeds on XFAT are definitely faster than on NTFS. Let's summarize the benefits of XFAT file system 1 XFAT is faster than NTFS 2. On XFAT any file can be deleted overwritten without problem, regardless of its location and attributes 3. XFAT doesn't have a journal or copy on write feature, hence it prolongs life of SSD met. It also means that XFAT doesn't spy on you. In contrast, the tool, such as Orion Forensics NTFS Journal Viewer, can extract a lot of information about your activity from NTFS Journal. For this reason NTFS can rightfully be called SFS, Spying File System.